Hey, how's it going everyone? Just want to do a quick video. Um, it's a shout out to um, Russian Vids, RV Truth. I'm not sure if he's even subbed to my channel, but just want to use him as an, <clears throat> as an example of like the truthers um, out there and the whole truth community is insane. But I would say for me, the bright spot has always been, you know, Russian Vids. And I'm just thankful for everything that he's shared. Um, I would say a majority of um, things that I teach um, from an earthly perspective, again, God is the author and distributor of truth, and he uses different mechanisms, hopefully my channel, if the things come true, um, to help others. But, um, you know, ultimately God is behind this, but from an earthly perspective, um, you know, he's equipped me and I suspect lots of people, thousands, potentially millions of people to, uh, you know, understand our reality, our physical reality through the flat station on earth, and then how to decipher and decode what we're seeing on the cold TV, the tell light vision. And so, um, I, I don't even know, you know, like, uh, how, you know, uh, I would know certain things unless a channel like that existed, whether it was him or somebody else. And so it's incredible, an incredibly potent, uh, channel for, uh, for truth, you know, and the thing that not, not just the high quality of his videos, which are outstanding and the consistency with which he posts <clears throat> and, He's not a money guy. He doesn't like talk about money ever really. And he po lists his, like Patreon people by name and all that. I respect that, you know? He's like, oh, I don't need it. He's not like, oh, I need a new uh, laptop and like whatever, new server and like, you know, and he could easily crowdfund probably money better than anybody. Cause like people like me will, we help him as much as we can because of the quality of his work, <clears throat> consistency of his work. And he's been doing this for many, many years. And, um, he just generally speaking, just seems like a, like a decent guy, you know, like a nice guy, like not a, not an egomaniac and all that kind of stuff. So the reason I want to kind of give him a shout out through this video is like the reason I know now and, you know, I don't need to even post this because people kind of know, you know, through actually a lot of the stuff he teaches how to discern who's telling the truth and, and not and who's somewhere in between <clears throat> is the way that he operates. He posts videos and says, freely mirror them, you know? And then he also says, don't take this as true. Go and investigate it yourself. And like, he doesn't like say, oh, come back and like kiss the ring and all that kind of stuff. You know, like obviously he would just prefer, and I'm not, I don't want to speak for him, but just me listening to a lot of his live streams. He's like, just don't say anything negative, you know, but don't like make fun of him or like say he's stupid. And like 33 doesn't matter. 33 doesn't exist and all that, you know, just kind of like, just, it's just be a bit more neutral about it, you know? Cause again, I think he, obviously he knows, and we know now that a lot of the stuff he teaches is absolutely true. <laughs> like it's not a conspiracy or none of that. And so if you go and like heavily go against him, I mean, you're going to have millions of people that will all just come after you. Cause we, <laughs> we know that you're stupid <clears throat> and an agent or whatever, because the stuff Russian, Russian bitch teaches and credit to him is that it's, he's made it obvious, you know, God, obviously I believe is using him, many others to, um, teach, teach, uh, very, very important things in these last days. And so that to me is, is a good sign, you know, and, and I give him credit for that. And I think that that's very unique amongst the truth there is. And so, you know, you're interacting with a genuine person when that's there. And then to contrast that with people like Obadiah's judgment or end time teacher and all these idiots who are like, I'm the BIG come to me. I'm the top dog, hundred percent truth. And all that was just, that's just theater. We know that they're just actors. And so Russian vids is delivering a potent truth. And the more and more people that wake up probably every day from what he teaches, the power structures on this earth get shaken, you know, and I'm not trying to like exalt Russian bits. He's doing this, obviously, if the things that he teaches end up actually manifesting from the God of the Bible and, the, and all that kind of stuff, then it's God, obviously, that gets credit for this. But <clears throat> um, just know that, you know, the flat stationary earth and then all the, the fact that a majority of the stuff that we see on TV is like fabricated. Yeah, uh, I mean, that undermines everything <laughs> like i mean just the flat earth itself you don't the other stuff is a little bit of the icing on the cake but um these other people are teaching things that have nothing like they don't impact anything at all they're just actors they're just talking nonsense <clears throat> sakari saying that he doesn't trust paul's writing and all this like just nonsense and like stupid people out on the streets quote unquote prophesying just spewing garbage hot garbage all over the place and so that's why you know the things that i don't um if the things that i teach don't come true <clears throat> I, I would obviously not recommend people go to the, the extremes that I that I do and say, but I would fold back and revert back to like somebody like Russian vids, you know, and like that kind of thing. For me personally, I'm out of it completely. If my quote unquote predictions don't come true, I'm, I'm out, you know, quote unquote truth community or YouTube and being a YouTube person or whatever. But, you know, that's what I would say, you know, and I, and I like also that <clears throat> he, he just strikes me as an honest person in the sense that he knows what his role is, you know, and like, 
we all have a role whether we know it or not but he doesn't go deep into like the end times and like that much like bible stuff he knows that that's not really his job and i'm sure he has thoughts on that that he doesn't share because he probably like me is like well i don't want to teach that that's not true you know and like for certain but i you could <clears throat> even the stuff that he like goes into you could piece it together pretty easily and so that's great and so you know he doesn't proclaim to be a hundred percent truth there and like oh you you only have to teach russian vid stuff to like be a truther and all that so that we know is just gas that's acting <clears throat> and so i give him credit for that you know and i just uh very very thankful for for his channel and the fact that he's persevered because like a person like that i'm assuming his channels get taken out all the time you can just be like whatever man you know like just i hate this i hate making new email accounts and like all that kind of stuff and dealing with people who can't see the obvious and all that so that's why I don't think a personality type like mine could ever do something like that. Cause I'd be like, no, these people are dumb. <laughs> I would have given up like four or five years ago and then all that kind of stuff. And so, you know, credit to him for persevering. So, you know, that to me is an indication of somebody who it's worthwhile getting their opinion. And even his phone conversation that I had with Mark Sargent, which I appreciate that he would reach out to me. Um, <clears throat> again, I don't know what Mark Sargent's all about. You know, that was just one isolated conversation, but <clears throat> The cool thing about that conversation to me was that um, they're starting to realize that the rubber is meeting the road, you know, and like, so they're becoming more vocal about things that we probably known, other people have known for a longer time, details about the Bible. And so then they're outspoken about it and, and against it. And so that's good. You know, he's not playing it off like, oh, whatever, this is going to go away. It's just, it's not a big deal. And you know, it's just, uh, just don't turn your TV off and then it'll go away and all that kind of stuff, like hand wave dismissal, like the other actual actors are. And so the cool thing about the times that we live in now, because they're so flamboyantly evil, is that like a person's real nature is going to, quote, rise up, you know, and like, that's good. <clears throat> God is going to make all things manifest, you know, and that's exciting, you know, and visually in the sky, his sun appearing. And so this is good. And so all these people, and including myself, if I'm pushing the Bible or anything with like <clears throat> any other reason but strictly to get God's word out, that's going to be exposed, you know? And I don't care about being quote unquote exposed by man. God's going to expose it <clears throat> and deal with it and potentially with pain. And so I'm aware of that, you know? And so just know that. And I think that <clears throat> I suspect, I hope more and more truthers become aware of that, that their channel now, all the things that they say is going to now be judged by God directly, you know? And so, because God is near, it's very, very clear. And so, again, I just give credit. This is mostly for Russian vids, but you know, for people, truthers who have like a large following, like both of those people do, being very outspoken, you know, and, and vocal about, you know, the mark of the beast and all these different things and, and all these evils. And ultimately that <clears throat> this world is being governed by the Bible's narrative, you know, more fundamentally. And so, um, from my brief conversation with Mark Sargent, he's very aware of that, you know, and so that's good. <clears throat> and, um, you know, people like that who have a broad reach can warn a lot of people, you know, and like, it, it's an amazing thing, you know, and, um, uh, that's exciting, you know, for me personally, that, um, people like that, um, uh, are, uh, are that clear and know that it's that obvious to them, you know, and that's great. I'm sure it's been like this for Russian vids, somebody like him for a long time, being a flat stationary earther. And, um, you know, the conviction with which he teaches that a creator and the Bible being true is like probably, I mean, it's like natural, you know, for him. <clears throat> and so, you know, that's, that's cool. And so that to me is, is a good, um, quality of somebody who we take seriously for, you know, other things. And so the, the cool thing that I saw that he posted about the rapture, which to me is the last major, um, room for deception is like. Um, Christ's second coming being mistaken for something else like aliens or something and then on his backup channel he warned his his people you know that um that to look out for that and so he like me we don't know that for certain we don't know if that's going to happen or not happen or in our generation or not in our generation but w our job is to say this be, you know look out for that you know like uh, don't just go by obviously the government narrative and there could be a time where the government could start telling you the truth you know like um they don't know what that is you know, that, that could be a true statement that we could see at some point. And then that's good. And so don't go to them to like hypothesize, go to God. That's what I would say. And I'm assuming Russian would say the same, go to the Bible under, you know, and then pray and all that kind of stuff. Um, the government has no idea what's going on. That's very, very, hopefully very, very clear to lots, uh, lots of people, billions of people and all that kind of stuff. And so, you know, um, shout out Russian vids. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.